What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to be talking about Manu Rios look. You guys requested him. I checked him out and he does that film look, vintage look in this particular picture. It's the picture that he uses as his profile picture on Instagram right now. And today I want to show you how to create this look using only your smartphone, the free Lightroom app and a free app called Snapseed. Now before we get started, let me tell you, I've created a preset of this exact tutorial. It's in that All Filters preset pack on my website. The link is under this video. Go check it out. There are many more presets other than this Mono Rios preset. So I highly recommend you to, as I said, check it out. I'm sure this will bring a lot of value to your Instagram. Now if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And check me out on Instagram, at Steven Womack is my handle. If there's anything you need, anything I can do for you, anything you want me to take a look at for you next, uh, just let me know, send me a DM, or also just comment under this video. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. First of all, of course, you will need your smartphone, and then I want you to open up the Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture of a guy in a white shirt, uh, similar to that Manu Rios look. And the first thing you want to do is go to the Lights tab down here and hit the Curve button on the upper right. Now what we want to do here is pull down the highlights a little bit to right here. And then I've noted everything down, of course. Um, pull back over a point right here. And also make sure to pull down the shadows a little bit further to right here so we get a really slight S curve into that picture. Now once you've copied this curve exactly as it is here, uh, hit the done button and now we want to take a look at the other lighting settings. For the highlights right here, we want to pull them down a little bit to negative 10 right there. And for the shadows, we want to boost them up all the way to plus 17. The whites, we want to pull all the way down to negative 100 to really get that film vintage look. And the blacks, we're gonna leave them as they are at zero right here. And we're done, we jump over to the colors tab right here. And we'll not change any of these color settings, but we'll hit the color mix on the upper right. And for the red tones, I just want you to leave everything as it is. And the orange tones right here, we want to leave the hue and saturation as they are, but just boost the luminance a little bit to around plus 18 to get that skin a little brighter. And we go over to the yellow tones. What you want to do here is just pull down the saturation a little bit to around negative 42 is perfect. And that's already it. We'll leave the other colors as they are. And we're done here as well. Now we go over to the effects panel. And what you want to do here is boost the texture a little bit to around plus 10. And then we want to add that grain. This is a really um, effective way to get that vintage look. You can also see it on Manu Rio's picture. Um, he has a lot of grain in there. So that's what we want to do. Raise the grain to around 24 is perfect. And then we're done here as well. We hit the split toning button on the upper right. And this is where that green color comes into the shadows mostly. Um, where we get the colors right. So for the highlights, what you want to do is pull them over to a hue of around 20 and a saturation of around, two, around 23. So it's 17, 23, which is okay. And for the shadows, you want to pull the hue all the way over to that green area to about 148 and a saturation of not too much, 10 or nine. So it's 146 and nine. And now the balance, we just wanna pull it towards the shadows a little bit. So we pull the balance all the way back to negative 27 right there. And we're done, the colors are right. Now, really typical for that Manu Rios look is the blur. And that's what we're gonna do to this picture now that we have the colors and um, the lighting settings right. We wanna do this in a different app called Snapseed. So we're gonna save this picture and move over to the app called Snapseed right here. 
and open this picture and then you want to hit the tools button down here and on the bottom right side there's a, a tool called lens blur and that's what we need and now I want you to scroll on the screen to vignette strength and pull that all the way to the left to zero and scroll on the screen to transition pull that all the way over to zero as well and now you want to take both fingers and just push that white circle all the way in so you can't see it anymore and now take the blue circle and pull it all the way to the left bottom corner so it's out of the picture now scroll on the screen again to blur strength and just reduce it a little bit to around i'd say plus 10 is good you can do whatever you like here and we're done here hit the check mark button export the file and we're done this is a little before and after i think we came super close to that mono rios vintage uh look that he uses on his current pictures and i'm really happy with the result i hope you guys are happy with the result as well now once again if you don't want to toggle along to the whole tutorial i've created a preset of exactly this look it's in my all presets pack on my website the link is under this video go check it out there are many other presets for you as well uh, you'll have a lot of fun and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and if you have some requests or any influencer that you want me to do next just dm me check me out on instagram at stephen womack um, or also just comment under this video i hope this was good content we're done here thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace